What's up guys, Casper here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this um, tag, the cloth tag and the cloth collider. Um, I'll show you that it, it does uh, some nice things with uh, your project. You can make a, uh, what's it called, shapes, things, whatever, your models, jiggle and do all this fancy stuff. It's better if you guys see it for yourself. So I'm starting off with a cube. I'm going to change the segments to four on each side. Oh, whoops. Okay. So once it's like that, I'm going to suspend it in the air. All right. And then just so you guys can actually see the jiggling and stuff like that, I'm going to change the angle to 45 on each side. Okay. So now it's like that. And in order for this tag to work, you need to have it as an editable object. So either push this button right here or push C on the keyboard. And that makes it editable. Um, so now you need to make a plane. And it can't be a floor. I tried it. It doesn't work. I'm going to make this bigger. Okay. Now that's that. You want to take a cube, go to cloth tags cloth plane go to cloth tags collider oh yeah and to bring up that window just right click all right so now as you can see let's put some materials on my cube real quick just make it pop out bread all right see turns jelly like but um you can also change it up if you don't like the straight edges. I'll just add some hyper nerves to that. And then redo that. So yeah, looks like that. Um, you can also adjust the settings by going into your Q, the uh, cloth tag. You can adjust how stiff it is, lower that a little bit. Um, flexicon, don't really know what that is. Rubber, I'm just going to... Put that up and uh, bounce. Obviously, I know what that is. Friction, yeah, give or take. Mass, how heavy it is, of course. And then size, whether it stays the same size. So let's try that now. <laughs> That's just uh, like folded in on itself. Anyway, it's a pretty cool effect. Uh, but I'll show you how to do it with some text right now. Um, in order to do the, in order to make text an editable object, you need to uh, do it with the spline in uh, extrude nerves way. So I'm just gonna go off and make some text. Of course, basic stuff. Object change it to hello. So I feel like letting people know that I'd like to say hello. Then extrude nerves. Drag text in, go to extrude nerves, make the Z a little more. Alright, now we go on the extrude nerves and push C, and that's like that. So, want to go after you get that, right click, select children, right click, connect and delete. There you go. So, now you can do your uh, cloth tag. Suspend it up high, real quick, make sure time runs at zero. Whoops. Why is this not letting me move it? Oh jeez, I done doodly the diddly do. Don't even know what that means, but you know what, I'm gonna pretend like I do know what it means. Alright, let's do it in this case, like this then. Bam. My letters are like, what? I don't even know how why that happened. That's a pretty fancy effect you got going there. That'd be a good way to end an uh, intro. Just like have your text go down and be like, oh no, what's good? Change the mass up a little bit so it falls faster. Um, size, let's make that bigger. Bam, that is crazy stuff right there. Did not know about that. Alright, well, yeah, this has been another successful tutorial by Casper. Comment, rate, subscribe if you want to know any other tutorials. Feel free to let me know. Any questions, 
again let me know either comment or message and uh, make sure to like the video cuz that makes me happy okay yeah peace